Hello friends, if you have ever wondered if you can get a free virtual machine for your website backend, the answer is yes, you can. In fact, you can use these virtual machines for running PHP, Node.js, Django, WordPress or any other CMS or in fact any other web service. You can use these free virtual machines for testing your website, for learning if you want to learn the web development, you can definitely use these virtual machines. You can even run small websites in production on these virtual machines. So just to be clear, I'm not talking about just a WordPress website or free content management system available on the web. I'm also not talking about a cPanel access where you can upload your website or PHP files and then run them over a HTTP port. In fact, I'm not even talking about just an HTTP website. You can run any service, any app backend on these virtual machines. I'm talking about getting complete control of operating system. I'm also talking about running any service on any TCP port and be able to access from the internet. You can even use IP addresses of these virtual machines to map it to any URL so that it can be accessible from anywhere on the internet using DNS. Let us now look at some of the famous cloud providers and their free tiers and always free tiers which we'll be focusing on today. So first one in the list is definitely Amazon AWS. They give you 12 months of free trial and in their always free plan you get database and storage and lambda functions through which you can execute your code on the cloud directly without needing any virtual machine. Next in line is Google Cloud Platform or Google GCP. They give 300 USD worth of free services in their free trial. They also give these services for 12 months. In their always free tire, they provide cloud functions which are similar to Lambda function in AWS they provide Kubernetes, BigQuery, and other database and storage features. However, they also provide one virtual machine. The third one is Microsoft Azure. They also provide you 200 USD worth of free services for 12 months. And uh, you can also use Kubernetes and other DevOps services obviously some database and storage features as well. Just to be clear guys, I'm not listing all of their f always free tier services here because that's not the focus of this session and they are providing so many features that I cannot list them down on a single slide. In today's session, we are focusing about which of these are providing virtual machines. The next one is Oracle Cloud. They also provide 200 USDs in their free tier, but only for 30 days. However, there is a big difference in their always free tier. They are providing two compute virtual machines, not just one. They are providing block storage, object storage, archive storage, load balancer, and also database. So in this slide, we see that two of the topmost cloud providers are actually giving us the free virtual machines that we are looking for. Now let us go ahead and compare the virtual machines of Oracle and Google. So the first difference is Oracle is providing two virtual machines, whereas Google is providing only one in their always free virtual machine or always free tire. Another point to discuss is about their processors. So Oracle is providing one eighth of an OCPU, which in Oracle terms 
is equivalent to two virtual CPUs. So actually they are providing 0 0.25 vCPUs. Google is providing a processor worth 0 0.2 virtual CPUs. Oracle is providing one gigabit of RAM. On the other hand, Google is providing only 614 MB. Oracle is providing inbuilt storage in the virtual machine of 47 GB. However, Google is only providing the 30 GB. Now, both of the companies have different description of their uh, feature related to networking on these virtual machines. Oracle tells that via internet, if you access these virtual machines, the network bandwidth is going to be 50 Mbps. Google tells that you can use at max one gigabyte in total of data transfer or network egress means the data going out of the virtual machine from North America. Another point to be noted is that Google is only provide this service in US region. However, you can find multiple regions in Oracle worldwide which are eligible for always free tire. So guys, definitely Oracle is the winner here and uh, you can get two virtual machines in Oracle. Uh, another point I can tell you that if you use Google's virtual machine, you can't actually create any website for production. The memory is so less that you will barely find any website running smoothly on Google. So this is a major downside of the Google and on Oracle you can actually run a production server because of its memory and storage. So friends please like, comment, share and subscribe if you like my videos. Also let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create a video on installing WordPress on Oracle Always Free Virtual Machine. Thank you for watching.